This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to handle an overpayment that a customer might make towards an invoice. Now, this might happen from time to time, and I'm going to show you how to handle that overpayment. So a customer has mailed in a check to Joe's Landscaping, and we're going to receive that payment by clicking on the Receive Payment icon. Now I'm going to bring up one of Joe's Landscaping's sample customers, and here's Huey Company. Huey Company has one outstanding invoice for $330. Now let's say, for example, that Huey Company has mailed in a check for $350. Now, under normal circumstances, if Huey Company would have mailed in a check for the proper amount, I would have placed a check mark in the far left column next to the invoice to be paid off. However, Huey Company mailed Joe's Landscaping the incorrect amount of $350. And because of that, it's going to create an overpayment. So the first thing we must do in the amount field, type in the amount of $350. Then you're going to place a check in the far left column next to the invoice that the payment is going to be applied. Now, as soon as you place that check mark next to the invoice, it's going to create an overpayment. And if you look towards the bottom left, you'll see the title called Overpayment, and you'll also see the amount of the overpayment. Now you have two options. The first option is to leave the credit to be used later. This means that maybe sometime in the future, Huey Company is going to place another order with your company, and you can apply that $20 credit to that invoice. The second option is to refund the amount to the customer. You can choose this option if you're going to mail the customer a check for the refund. Now I'm going to show you how to use this first option and then come back and show you how to use the second option, which is to refund the amount to the customer. So let's select Leave the Credit to be Used Later and then click Save and Close. Now you're going to see a Payment Credit dialog box. And there are three options. Now the first thing you can do is to print a credit memo and then mail that credit memo to the customer letting them know that they have a credit with your company. The second option is to click OK. If you click OK, that means you're not going to immediately print a credit memo, but you can do so later. And the third option is to simply click Cancel just in case you've mistakenly entered in the wrong amount. So I'm going to click OK. And now let's assume that a couple of weeks have gone by and Huey Company has placed another order with Joe's Landscaping. I'm going to create an invoice by clicking on the Create Invoices icon. And in the Customer field, I'm going to type in Huey Company. I'm going to enter in the items that Huey Company will be purchasing from Joe's Landscaping. Now before I save the invoice, I'm going to click the Apply Credits button on the ribbon just above the invoice. And QuickBooks will let you know that before you can proceed, you must save the changes now. So click Yes. And now the Apply Credits window will appear for this particular customer. Here's the $20 credit. There's already a check mark in the far left column next to this credit. So it's already been selected. And when you're finished applying your credits, click Done at the bottom. And if you take a look at the bottom of the invoice, you'll see a total of $110 payments applied is $20. That is the $20 credit that you just applied towards this invoice. So now Huey Company only owes $90 for this invoice. Now that's what you do if you want to save the credit to be applied for a future invoice. Now I'm going to show you how to refund the overpayment back to the customer. Okay, so now here is Huey Company's outstanding invoice. And once again, they mailed in a payment to Joe's Landscaping for $350. Since that amount does not match the outstanding invoice, I'm going to type that amount first into the amount field. Then press the tab key on my keyboard. Now I'm going to place a check mark in the far left column next to the invoice for which the payment is to be applied. And as soon as I do that, you'll see a section called Overpayment at the bottom left. I just showed you how to leave the credit to be used later. And now I'm going to show you how to refund the amount to the customer. So select that option and then click Save and Close. Now as soon as you click Save and Close, you're going to see the Issue a Refund dialog box. In the Issue this Refund via field, choose the method in which you are going to issue the refund. In this example, we are simply going to mail the customer a check. The check is going to be for the amount of $20 and the check is coming from the Joe's Citibank checking account. If you want to write a memo, you can do so in the Memo field. Make sure that there is a check mark in the To Be Printed checkbox and then click OK. Now QuickBooks is going to bring you back to the home page and now you're going to click on the Print 
checks icon here. When you click on that icon, it's going to bring up the $20 check that you're going to write to your customer. Make sure you have checks in your printer. Make sure that the check number that you're putting into your printer matches the check number that is in the first check number field. And then click OK. Now the print checks dialog box is going to appear. Click print again and your checks should start printing immediately. If the check did not print correctly, place a check mark in the reprint column next to the check that did not print correctly and then click OK. Now if the check did print correctly, do not place a check mark in the reprint column. Simply click OK and you're done. And that is how you handle a, an overpayment. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, this is James Fox and I'll see you next time.